welcome to another get fix repair video um, today I have on my hand an LG 55 UJ 6200 um, the TV has an issue where it has no display it has no sound there is no backlight uh, but the first thing I did was to use the flashlight test just to check to see if I could find images, maybe dark images on the screen. And yes, I found some dark images on the screen. So um, that would be your first thing to do. Use a flashlight maybe in a dark room and then check to see by pressing the remote and then pressing maybe menu just to get something um, um, moving on the television just to see if there is any dark images. So on this one, I got dark images and so um, it's likely the backlight is bad or the power supply is not giving enough voltage to the backlight. Um, so um, we'll just take it apart and then uh, we can have a look and see what the problem is. Okay, so, <coughs> so I've just taken off about 16 screws. They are clearly marked on the back and on the other side as well. This one just comes off. We have the we have the motherboard slash Ticon board over there. Don't see any Ticon boards here, so I think it's incorporated onto the motherboard. And we also have the power supply. So what I can do immediately is I can identify the 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 backlight cable. This is I believe this is what leads to the backlight. And then we will just test the backlight to see if um, we would get uh, the required voltage or um, we would see the backlights light up when they are tested. Or someone may decide to go first by testing the power supply just to see if the required voltage is going to the backlight. Um, in any case, um, I suspect to test the backlight, so I want to go with the backlight first. So with this, you will need a backlight tester. Um, this ones here, you can get them off Amazon. I got this on AliExpress for about twenty dollars. So, so going to test the backlight. Um, the TV should be off um, when you do this. And um, as you see, we have two reds and then two whites. Definitely, one will be positive, negative. And that is for two different lines. So we'll try the outer lines first. Okay. And um, we have 59.2. And um, I can see that the lights are on. Yeah, I can see that their lights are on. So we have 60.9. Okay. Now let's do the inner one. Let's test the inner one. Okay. And yeah, the inner one, we are not getting anything. And the lights are off. When I check the holes, the lights are off. And you see there is no reading here. So I can I can confidently say we have an LED problem, a backlight issue. And so um, we'll just take it apart and then uh, uh, disassemble and then get to the backlights. Just go like that. And it's just a latch. You just push it down and then uh, it comes off. Okay. Just um, a latch here. Okay. Let's put this one back here. Okay, we can uh, remove this. That. Just by flip, flipping it. Okay. 
and uh, we have some screws here one and then two three four five so we can unscrew those ones So this one, you just pull it up, okay? You just pull it up, and then you have a says to the one here, okay? Okay, we can put it back so that we don't lose it, okay? So we have <coughs> this one is already free because we removed the screws. So I'm guessing we'll just have to. It's held by clips. Mm. So we get something flat. And just put it behind. Okay. Gently, right? Okay. There are, <coughs> there are some additional screws here. Okay, there are some additional screws here. So we have to take those ones off as well. So this one will come off. Okay. Once the metal frame is removed it will hang freely still connected to the chassis of the tv by the plastic film um, gently navigate and unclip the led driver board from beneath and then tape it to the led screen So I'm going to take off the panel. Uh, basically, oh, it's mostly important to use the suction cup, um, but I usually go the old-fashioned way, which is by using my my hands. So nothing is holding on to them, okay? It's all free. So just crawl your hands to the back and just lift it, okay? To take off this once on the frame, okay? And I think they just easily come off, okay? You just pull them up. They are, hold, they, are, they are being held down by clips, so you just have to maneuver it a bit to get it out. Okay. Some 
things holding on to them. Okay, so there are clips down here. There are clips. Okay, so this one seems to be held to the frame. I'm not sure why, but um, okay. yeah, it just comes off. So, okay, and then we get to the filters. I usually like to just lift them up and then just set them somewhere in the same order okay So we have the some screws here. I'm having a hard time moving this three. Um, so when you're doing it you have to be careful so that you don't cause a tread on them okay I just can't get them out and I've caused a tread on the screws so I can't get them out but then we are going to take I'm going to see if I can work around it um, the filters are held by double-sided tips so Um, if we can find the one that had an issue. Okay, Let's see here. So we have positive and negative. Okay, so this one is not lighting up. Okay. Okay, okay this one is lighting up. Let's see here. This one is also good, and that one is also good. Okay, so I think this is where the problem is coming from. So I have my, <coughs> I have my replacements here. Now on the, on one side we have B1, we have the B1s marked on them, and then we have B2s also on one side. So you just have to ensure that uh, you have all your B1s one side and then the B2s on the other side. They are held together by double-sided tape. Okay, so you just have to make sure you you remove them. It just slips out, okay? They are just held by clips. Okay. Now we 
just have to unclip them. We just need something that is flat. So this was the B ones and <clears throat> you would realize that there are this tiny holes here. Okay. This tiny holes. They have markings here where they are supposed to fit. So you just make sure that you fit them in the groove. Okay. Nicely. Okay. Just fit them nicely so that they will align. Okay. Okay. So B one. Just check to see if it aligns in the holes. Okay. So we got all the back lights. So all the back lights are now in place. I'm just going to power it on and then just do a quick check to see if everything is good. So as you can see the backlights are good and now they are on I'm going to just put back the TV together and uh, that should uh, get everything fixed Okay guys, um, so after assembling the TV, everything seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, with this, we had one of the backlight strips um, was bad. And so after replacing everything, everything seems to be working okay with the TV. Um, I do appreciate um, you sticking with me till the end of the video. Please, if you enjoyed it, please uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please leave me a like and then hit the notification so that um, you will be updated anytime I drop a new video. Thank you very much for staying with me. Until I see you again, stay safe and then God bless. <laughs>